Good morning, Lawn Care Nation. Richie Plemons, Plemons Lawn and Landscape. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. Um, today we're taking care of a, uh, I guess what you would call this a little amphitheater for a local elementary school. It's a Sunday. Uh, normally, like I said, we don't work on Sundays usually, but uh, they want to kind of get this place into shape so that they can do their, their pictures in here for the staff and stuff. But you can kind of see the stuff's a little overgrown. Um, the bed areas need to be cleaned up all in here so we're going to clean out all these little bed areas uh, clean up all the crepe myrtles in here and get those uh, uh, suckers off of those make it uh, just all around look a lot nicer I mean and then uh, we're going to mow and edge out the uh, little areas right here <coughs> this school uh, um, you know they called us to do this uh, the school system's here. I mean, we don't really have the, uh, the I guess, uh, the richest school system in the state. They, uh, they have to work with what they got on their budget, and uh, so they don't really hire out side the county to take care of these usually the uh, the county workers come in and, and do it and you know and they're shorthanded they don't have the manpower to take care of stuff like this to, to keep the beds in order and and mow they've got so many schools to take care of and not enough people to do it so uh, from time to time they'll call people like us to come in and do it so uh, we got the call and uh, so we're gonna get this taken care of and uh, try to get a little video footage of it for you guys and uh, and see if we can clean this up for them we'll see you shortly As you can tell, this place is 
pretty bad disarray for a while, but you can tell here we've we've cleaned up all these cracked myrtles, cleaned up underneath them, and, uh, and we did leave the juniper. They they want to keep their juniper because uh, that's uh, a little more than what they wanted to spend to remove that. So they want to go ahead and keep the juniper. We got all the crepe myrtles just kind of cleaned up underneath. This is a prime example of improper pruning of crepe myrtles. Uh, they're cutting them back at the uh, in the winter time. They, they're doing it wrong. They're cutting them just at the stalks, and so you're not really getting a nice full tree. You're getting just some sprouts, and that's it. So they they uh, they cut a lot of them at the trunks, and it, it looks pretty bad. And there's not a whole lot we can do with them other than clean the bottoms of them up. So we did clean those up, kind of open the bottom up, get some sun down into the bottom of the beds, and hopefully. Uh, some of the other stuff will grow in there. Uh, on this side over here, as you can tell, we've got uh, right about there. That there is uh, poison oak growing up and down the side of this uh, building, or poison ivy. So uh, we did have to get all this sprayed. So we're having all that sprayed before we put the uh, pine straw in. Uh, but we've done the same thing here, cleaned all the old wild privet that was growing up, cut it all out, and then we come back and, uh, and clean the crack marbles up as well here. Uh, in here, as you can tell, in the amphitheater, most of these uh, stones were completely disappearing. They hadn't, you weren't able to see them. Uh, we went ahead and uh, weed eated and edged all those out. That way you could at least get to the stones again for the, uh, the seeding. And then here on the, uh, the stage itself, you've probably seen all the dried grass over the years where they had uh, mowed, the, the county mows it, and they just blow the grass up on the stage and never really uh, blow it off. Uh, I don't even think they actually weed it. I think they just mow and that's it. So, but uh, you know, the, I'm not saying anything bad about those guys. They just, they don't have the time to take care of all the schools in the school systems the, uh, the right way that it needs to be done properly. So, but uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's gonna be a work in progress, but we've got it ready to go now for the spray guy to come in, get rid of all the uh, weeds growing this week and uh, get some pine straw put down in here in about another week or so. And, uh, and it'll be finished up. So still a little work to go, but we're getting there. And uh, if you like the video, uh, make sure to like it, subscribe, share it, and uh, make sure you hit the bell notification. That way you get uh, notified every time we got a new video. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Appreciate uh, all the guys that are subbed and, and like to watch our videos. And uh, we'll uh, see you guys in the next one.